Here we go. Pavon's going to get it first. This is kind of the old school versus the new school here, Cook. Yep, yep. Pavon just 18 years old. And we mentioned how Fo or, uh, Echo Fox joke, might as well call him that. He got to a slow start. Pavon got to a lightning fast start in his game. So he put up 28 points in that first half. Let's see if Pavon can keep up that same energy. By the way, Nick, somebody said show the Twitch chat on ESPN News tomorrow. Yeah, that would be the last time. That would, we would never <laughs> the last be allowed time we'd ever on ESPN. Be on TV. We wouldn't be allowed on again. ESPN. We wouldn't be allowed anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you, Twitch chat. But, we, you know, come on now. Let's be realistic. They're setting their audible, so delay of game will be declined. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, Pavon is top five offensively in the passing game. He's also in the top six defensively in the passing game. So we're going to see some great pass defense in this ball game. And he had a couple of great user picks in his last game. There's a little check down to Sharp. He's got room. And he'll get to the 49. So a, an opening play of 26 yards. There's the gunslinger animation. Pavon from Yuba City, California. Home state playing here in San Francisco. You know he wants to win one for the home team. He started the season with like five grand in his pocket. Maybe less than that. He, he's, uh, he, he's way up there now. He's well over 20. He's more than doubled his earnings this week uh, in his career in the MCS. The throw. Come on, man. Come and on. And he'll haul this it in at the 29. Beast Boy, oh. I, I, I'm with you on that, but it is what it is. Joe getting a little bit upset his defender did not make the play, but at the same time, remember what Joe talked about how he went low cap on the defensive end, and that might have cost him there. Pavon quickly to the 29 yard line. So. Opening drive here for Pavon. He'll get it to Sharp again. His brother Sterling played for University of South Carolina, so I don't get down with the Sharps. I'm just, just going to keep it 100. One of the most interesting uh, and most impressive stats about Pavon is he's the two times Raider champion in the first two years he started competing. Watch out! Hey, I mean, he, we haven't given him as much gas as we, we did Allen, but I mean, maybe this guy's the next up and comer. But maybe he's already here. He is. If he makes it to the Final Four, then he's officially already here. That's an automatic qualification. But that run with Michael Vick is scary. When you're stumbling like that, you take one hit from a defender, that ball normally pops out. So he's pretty fortunate to still have possession. And we got so many games that's going on. So I want to remind you guys that we're now out of the round of 16. We are in the Elite Eight, so to speak, the round of eight. This is a $20,000 game of Madden. I'm nervous for them. <laughs> I, this, I, you it's not even my money. 40 grand with this win. Just so the folks at home know, Pavon playing with the Bucks offensive playbook, the Giants defensive playbook. And the high point, lucky that it just lands on the back of the end zone there. Here comes a third and 11. I don't care how high you throw the ball. If you're throwing into quad coverage, it's not going to end up going well for you. That pass was also late. Dangerous pass. And as much as you want to high pass the ball, you have to value the field position that you're in. You've made it this far. At least make sure you get a field goal out of this drive. So there's a motion out. Vic. Too high, too high. Not a bad play, though. We're only Randy Moss can make that play. And you take this field goal. And you try to play some defense. You mentioned that Pavon has a pretty good pass defense. He started off the game with a couple of turnovers in his previous game. Let's see if he can keep that going. So an opening field goal here by Pavon. And that's going to allow Joke to get his first possession here. And for me, anytime you hold someone to three, it's a win. It's a win, absolutely. I got to say, I feel a little bad for Pavon, user, as an Oakland Raiders fan, username, Khalil Mack. Oh, the man. former Raider, who's now part of that Bears defense that absolutely nobody wants to stay with. <laughs> and meanwhile, nobody's on the Oakland Raiders. Well, fixing to be the Vegas Raiders. 
here soon. Well, right now, I think they're the homeless faders. Don't they not yeah, have a lease I, I for next year? I don't know. <laughs> they are the homeless faders. They called me. I told them my place is only three bedroom, but you're yep. welcome to. Got a couch. Not only that, he's got the Derek Carr jersey on, and there are some rumors that the Raiders might be picking a quarterback. So, Khalil Mack, Derek Carr is not the best combination right now. Cookie going full Adam Schefter <laughs> here in the first quarter. 2.33 to go. Cookie Schefter over here. Trailing by a field goal, but this is his opening possession. Love the all brown, by the way. You're running the ball, aren't you? Yep, you're running the ball. Okay, Tony Romo. Oh, yeah. I know when you're running. Well, you remember Skimbo, who will join us next game. RG will also be back. They were, he was saying, guys that run the bunch love to try to run to the hash on, yes. on the opening play. They want to play on the hashes. They don't want to play down the middle. And there's a loss of 14. That would be a loss of four, but... <laughs> I find that interesting that Pavon is starting to trash talk early. I don't think Joke is the guy you want to trash talk after his last game. And Moss will get to the 24. Maybe you guys out there who are casual fans, you see the defense, a lot of 3-3-5 three, three, odd. That's three defensive tackles, three linebackers, five DBs, a very good defense to defend against the pass. And he's spreading that line, so he's probably going to put a quarterback spy in the middle, hope for some edge pass rush on those tackles. So third and 11. He's get out to the 35-yard line to continue the drive. And he'll check Andrew's down. Staying. He'll get. Oh, he, he dropped it. Didn't even catch it. Derwin James breeding down his neck. Fourth down and 11. Choke once again. Off to that slow start. We mentioned it. You can't keep doing this. At some point, you're going to get bitten. Here's fourth and 11. You're right. The slow starts might end up being Joke's demise at some point. He's gotten away with it in back-to-back -back games. And he'll get Damn. out of the pocket and then just... Uh -oh. Pass, let's go! Surprised he didn't pick it up, but he knocks it down and he'll have Come it at the man. 24. Damn. I got to ask you a millennial question here, Cookie. Yeah. You know, you, you see the gum. He, you know, he's not, not Joke, but Pavani's chewing the gum. Got the mouth open. I'm from the south. My mom, that's that not cool. My grandma, my mom, come on, come on. they're not letting me chew gum like that. Is it? Hey, I'm an old man. Is that a millennial thing or what? I'm from the Midwest. My mom wouldn't let me chew gum like that. <laughs> now you chew gum going to school. You chew gum anywhere, bad, everywhere. Some people, they like multiple sticks a day. I th well, I think that's the thing. I think he's got a whole pack. It's not just It's not just a stick. It's not just a, you know, it's, it's like a whole pack of gum. Got that double bubble rolling. All right, here we go. First and 10. It doesn't matter because he's really good at John Madden football. He hands it off to Marcus Allen. We'll get inside the 10 at the nine yard line. I like to call that move the panic spin. Yeah. It yeah. Look, you thought that the <laughs> defender was going to come here. There really wasn't anybody. And all you did was fake out Casper the friendly ghost in the hole. Read my mind. You love to spin, but at some point, you know, you just got to go upfield. You got to read the defense. The spin move, many people consider the best ball carrier move, but. Especially when you're using a running back like Marcus Allen. Just put your head down. By the way, Marcus Allen looks fresh in these Raiders jerseys. And by the way, I'm not going to mention the gum ever again. But it's, it's, it's a polarizing topic in the chat. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Second and seven. That's Allen with a spin move down to the six-yard line with 20 seconds to go here in the first. Can we get a graphic made for Gum Watch 2019? <laughs> Let's, let's get that rolling. Let's see who else. Who's pro-gum in the chat? Who's <laughs> anti-gum? I, I don't think anyone's anti-gum. That's Who's, like anti-puppies. Come on now. It's like pro-gum or anti-flamboyant gum. Like, like the secret gum chewer. <laughs> All right, the end of one. Here in the AFC, this is the round of eight. This is a $20,000 game of Madden. That's a lot of gum. It's three to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Seinfeld he used to pay $100 for gum. It's crazy. Oh, look at this. <laughs> still chilly Dave back still, there. Still has the blanket on. Once I get off this stage, I've heard I have a band, that point. You know, I've heard of bandana, you know, bandana Drini, but blanket canes? He's smart. He's smart. Yeah, he's from he's from Illinois. I mean, he's a big Bears fan. I got to know the temperature back there. It's like negative 50. 52? <laughs> oh, it is so they cold. They said 72. 72 what, Kelvin? <laughs> <laughs> this is a big third down here. Joke needs to hold. Third and four. 
Look for the hitch route, that's where people love doing that hitch high pass. Donnie Moore, our stat star, comes in with the gum chewing rating of 95 for Pavon, and he's going to face a fourth down here. It's going to be fourth and four. And Joke bends but doesn't break. He's going to hold him to another field goal, Nick. And that's a big stop. Again, as you said, it's it's a win to hold these guys to three. And I think on the other side, it does feel like a loss. A third and four, you go for the high pass on the left side. You had the hitch in between the zone. What could have been, instead, it stays 6 nothing. Well, Joke. Stryker 45 says, yeah, if it's 72 in there, then the wind chill's got to be negative 50. <laughs> My wife's at home right now in Detroit, and uh, she had to uh, <laughs> fly back into negative 43 with that wind chill in Detroit. And yeah, keep you got to. I think he's trying to hibernate. I think he's trying to put all the food in his cheeks and, and build up a little bit of meat on that bone. Come on, the guy lost the game yesterday. Can we leave Kane's <laughs> alone? Moss. It's been moved by Randy Moss, but I gotta mention this. I mentioned it yesterday. <laughs> I out. love the fact that <laughs> these I'm guys. A, I'm a Bears fan, Cookie. He represent the Bears. We've had a bad off season. I can't. I can't look at it anymore. Even the people who lost still come to the players' lounge. Still kick it with their boys. Man, and community, man, tight knit. They even play basketball after the games. First and ten at the 36 for Joke. Got to get this offense going. He's been a second-half player when it comes to offensive firepower. And, boy, I think he's got to get it going earlier than that. At some point, Pavon's going to get in that end zone. He's got to find the end zone. You can't live and die by the field goal. You've got to get six. Joke's been in worse situations. He was down 13-0 last game, and Crush had ball. This is nothing for him. Man, Joe was flipping that bunch. First and 10 at the 38. Joe can take the lead here. And he'll throw it again to Tyreek. And, you know, maybe we're saying he's a second half player, but maybe also he's just really good at making adjustments as the game goes on. Yeah, I, th I think when you look at these guys, not only are they talented, but so much of the being a top player is being able to adjust as the game goes along and play a different style of game. I think maybe Joke's one of those guys. Takes a little bit to feel out how the game flow is going to go. And he'll hand it off to Marcus Allen. I just back. want to remind you again, make sure to link your Twitch account to earn Madden Twitch drops throughout the show. You don't want to miss out on those packs. Second and four. I heard those packs have a lot of great content in them right now, so. They kind of <laughs> juiced up, I heard. <laughs> a little birdie told me. Yeah, me, I'm getting four silvers, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but right now, I think they're really juiced. Up top, there's Julio to the four. Dangerous throw. Good thing there wasn't a user there, a defender with the back to him, and that's where the high point really came into play because he was able to put that ball up there. There was no chance for the defense to get to it. Now first and goal from the four. Do we see what we saw in the last game? A lot of toss plays. Or are we going to see maybe a little more uh, between the tackles running and throwing the ball here inside the red zone? Probably going to see a halfback dive here. Usually out of this three tight end set, it's either halfback dive or stretch. First and goal from the four. We got Tyreek Hill at tight end. He'll hand it off to Allen, and he'll... Stumble and rumble and bumble his way into the end zone and pin in the PAT. As I mentioned, joke, you cannot find his music on iTunes. Hey, but I would he's, love he's to. signed with Echo Fox. I, who knows? I mean, somebody could pick him up. That's when you know Joke is feeling himself when he starts singing the lyrics. He doesn't sing those lyrics when he's down 7 0 or down 3. He used to do that. He used to rap when he was nervous. Now he raps when he. When he got the lead, he takes a, a, a one-point lead here. Seven to six over Pavon. I got to know, chat. We're talking about Twitch drops. What's the best card, best item that you've gotten out of a Twitch drop this year? Because I know some of you guys have been riding with us since day one here in Mad 19. Let us know you're getting that tie law in the chat. That tie on nasty. Well, look at this. Joe Rice and Blocky. I don't know the tail of the tape on this one. I think Joe Rice is still trying to recover from that last game. <laughs> some serious. He, he's going to close his eyes tonight, and he's going to be seeing some some serious because that was a hell game. The action has been 
really the last two days has been absolutely unbelievable. Day one, you had a, a couple games, a little bit of uh, uh, some lopsided action, but since then, it's been nothing but barn burn. Yeah. Joe continue to sing. We're going to take this down to the two minute warning for Pavon right now. He can salvage just half by getting the lead, even if it's just a field goal. I know you think, oh, three field goals, that's not good. But just get yourself the lead, try to play, try to slow this game down. And, you know, Joke has been prone to making mistakes. He threw a pick six in his last game. So you get that two point lead, you can control the game. Boy, several people in chat get that 93 tie law out of a, out of a drop. That's, a, that's glitchy. Can we, get a, can we get an MCS karaoke contest going? I want to see these guys. Who's, who's the got best, the best pipes? Who's the best singer in the MCS? I got no idea. I know who the coldest is, but I don't know who the best singer is. Yeah. Well, I'm, the coldest I'm, is I'm, not I'm worried about Canes. I, I really am. I'm sitting up here, and I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm, I'm, I'm nervous for him. I'm worried. Second and 12. Pavon gets it down to Tyreek, and he'll get out of bounds at the 45. This is a key drive here with 90 seconds left in the half. Joke just took a one-point lead on you. you got to come down here and try to retake the lead. And at the end of the day, we, we talked about how field goals sometimes feel like losses, wins for the defense. But here, a field goal would actually be a big win uh, for uh, for Pavon, just getting that lead back. And there goes Roberts out of bounds. That'll stop the clock with 1.14 to go. So one thing you need to keep in mind is that even though Pavon won, he has not scored a touchdown in almost a full game because he scored 28 points in the first half of his last game. Didn't score a single point in the second half, or yeah, single point. Hasn't scored a touchdown yet this game. Just took a sack from Jabal Sheard. So his offense is a little bit sluggish right now. Second and 14 now, a minute to go. Still holding on to those timeouts, so which I think is smart. You can see that Joe has his pass rush on aggressive. Of course, Pavon can't see that, but Pavon might want to try fake hiking here. Nice throw there to Sharp, who moves it to the 42. And now Joke will use a timeout with a third and four pending. I got the most Joke quote I have ever heard. He said he was a casual mutt player in Madden 15, but Madden 18 was the first year he started being good. Madden 18? Is what, what he, he says. Because in Madden 17, he finished third. He says Madden 18 was the first year he started being good. All right. At 17, he must have just lucked into it or something. I really wonder what that joke timeout was all about. I mean, he lost to Skimbo in the finals one time. That's how close. He's been very close to winning a belt. He's trying to get back there. Just, well, just wants a chance. And if I haven't Jimmy, said it enough. Jimmy, don't cheat me. And he can't. Randy just can't get in there. And Pavon's going to continue to move that clock. This is a. $20,000 game of Madden football. The winner will move their winnings of the week up to 40 grand. They got 20 right now each. Both of them got 20 Rackaroos. They could double up right here. Imagine 36 seconds to go. Imagine doing that just for playing Madden. Hands it off. Cookie, you, you got 600,000 subscribers on YouTube. Don't, don't act like you're not. You got a few. <laughs> I can't you got make a it few in. Federal Reserve notes, I know. I can't make it in a weekend like these guys. <laughs> it's up and it's good. That was great poise by Pavon, though, because, you know, Joke slowly worked that ball downfield in his previous drive. He took a couple of field goals. And on fourth down and four, post route middle of the field, Randy Moss. Well, here comes Joke at the back of his end zone with Randy. And try to one cut. And he'll get dropped at the 28-yard line. Look at this again, though. The Shannon Sharp fullback dive really seems to be the play that everybody runs. And the reason why Shannon Sharp is at the fullback position is because with salary cap, you're not going to spend salary cap on a fullback. Many NFL teams don't really use fullbacks. So somebody has to play that fullback position in the goal line offense, and it just so happens to be Shannon Sharp with his trucking ability. Yeah, there's like three true fullbacks in the league, and there's a ton of them on free agency lists. And he will throw it away. That was just a coverage sack down the field. Nobody open. It was only a three-man rush being sent. And at the end of the day, when you've got a guy like Mike Vick, you've got to recognize when there's nobody open. Get out of the pocket a little quicker and take some yards as opposed to having to throw that away. Second and 10. 
Vic. Quick throw to the outside there, sharp. Stays in bounds. And here comes the hurry up. Trying to hold that time out. If he can work the middle of the field down here, maybe he can get a field goal. Time's ticking away. He'll wheel route it again, and he didn't get out of bounds. Gonna have to use that timeout. It's the final play anyway. Now in this situation, I just call Hail Mary and just take my shot. These guys, they know a little bit more. They are going to try to set up a route combination or two, try to maybe take some zone defenders away with a post route. But sometimes I feel like Hail Mary's not that bad of an idea. Well, especially when you got a guy like Randy Moss out there. <laughs> Let me know, Chad. Would you call Hail Mary in this situation? Because you would not look at some of these guys' route combinations. You only have one, two people going to the end zone. Why not just send three guys downfield? Well, let's see if he goes to the end zone here. There's the motion across the formation. Vic needs time. And he's going to check it down, try to get a block here. Let's see if he can make a chance. block. And it won't get there. Not a bad idea. I know that Hail Mary it, it never works, to be honest. You got a better chance trying to. Break some ankles down there with a spin move. At the half, 13 to seven. Pavon taking the lead there late in that second quarter. Joke though, has been a second half player all tournament long. We wanna welcome you back into the studio here. Scott Cole along with Jonathan, AKA Cookie Boy, and Nick on the end uh, from the Madden Bomber League. And this is huge because it's a $20,000 game of, of John Madden football. You're gonna move to 40 grand for the week. And I know you mentioned it a ton, Cookie, but Donnie Moore's blowing up my phone, letting people know that this auto this gives you an automatic berth into the Madden Bowl at the end of the season. This is just the second major of the year. We still got two more to go. Let's take a look at these first half highlights, Nick. And this game started out with a bang. See Joke trying to find Jones on the sidelines. Little toe tap catch. Looked like he was going to get in the end zone. He does indeed because uh, he's got Marcus Allen who's stumbling and bumbling his way through the middle of that line. And just when it looked like maybe Joke would take advantage, this is the veteran player showing up. Pavon straight right back to Randy Moss. And then, of course, Shannon Sharp capping the drive off. Well, that would give him a 13-7 to lead. I know I've been giving some love to the chat, but I also got to give some love to Emmanuel Sanders of the Broncos that came by and hung out in the Twitch chat with a, 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 some of our fans. That was real cool to see. Uh, just a little while ago. Blocky Joe Rice, that'll happen tomorrow. And uh, they got some moves. That's gonna be that's gonna be a great, great game tomorrow. Here's the MZ uh, standings. You can see Blocky currently in number two. And we see we got Clef moving up, strafing moving up. That whole thing is gonna change by the end of the day tomorrow. And Michael Skimbo, I don't know where he's gonna be. <laughs> Somewhere fifth or sixth, something like that. Here we go. Hey, Skimble's automatically qualified. He's chilling right now. Joke and Pavon want to be where Skimbo is automatically qualifying. Takes a lot of pressure off. You don't have to worry about the next tournament. You're automatically in the Madden Bowl. So first and 10. Start the second half. I want to give a big shout out to my man, Donnie Moore. We miss you, buddy. We'll see you down the road, that's for sure. That's the man that loads up all the stats in our heads. Keeps track of everything going on on the around the league. That whole Madden League Ops, those guys bust their backsides to make this happen. I'm just sitting here getting to reap these rewards. Julio Jones with the big catch on the right side. Another tight catch in traffic. Julio's been the main man for Joke down 13-7, starting with the ball, a huge drive coming out of halftime. First and 10 at the 45. Remember, he scored 24 unanswered in his last two games. He's trailing again, here we go. Boy, up top, almost got there. Oh. Got behind triple coverage, Cook. That's a missed opportunity. He had Tyreek Hill downfield, Michael Vick. You love Michael Vick, his speed, his arm strength, but oh, that accuracy was a little bit to be desired. Second and 10. Bunch to the right. Vic fires on the wheel route. There's Marcus Allen. 
who gets it to the 44. You know, we were talking about some of the cards and items that folks were pulling out of those Twitch drops, and somebody was asking, well, what the heck is a Twitch drop? Well, you got to link your uh, Twitch account to earn Madden Twitch drops throughout the show. A lot of the moderators in chat and some of our good fine folks in the community can help you get that done if you don't know how to do it. First and 10 now at the 44. Right side. And boy, Ken, oh, he overthrew him. That's two missed opportunities now for Joke. Had a potential touchdown to Tyreek Hill. That was a little bit more on Joke, though, because that pass was maybe a touch late. He only has 158 yards passing so far. A lot of that, it's been mainly the checkdown game so far. See Joke IDing the mic. You definitely want to ID the mic, the rusher that you think will most impact your offensive line coming through. And that's just high level. Madden just got that off. Wow. Tyreek so now we got third and nine, Cook. <laughs> Tyreek Hill just laying on the ground there. This is borderline field goal range. If Joe gets four, maybe five yards here, you know, maybe think about taking that field goal to wins on your side because a field goal doesn't make it a three-point game. Boy, I think he needs a bit more than that. Dan Bailey. But we've, we've seen Bailey kick some monster kicks. You need full leg, though. Almost got to kick it Playmaker perfect. up the field. B is standing wide open, waving his hands, and he finally gets it to Hill. <laughs> How do you momentarily miss a guy like Tyreek Hill? But I think you're so worried because some of these guys' users are so good. And we talked about Pavon being the top five. I mean, you don't throw that pass perfect, or you accidentally throw a bullet pass. Next thing you know, that could have been a lurk. But, yeah, he was standing there waving his arms. Hands it off to Marcus Allen, who gets to the edge and picks up four. And that's maybe the underrated part about this competition, the reputation of these guys coming in. It does change your game plan. Even though you may not have thrown one or two picks, you're still worried about it knowing you're playing a guy who can come up with those turnovers. So that's going to bring up a second and six here at the 22. Joke is eating up this clock, Cook. And then Pavon is eating up that gum. <laughs> The choke has been going on. He went on a long drive previously to get a touchdown. He's doing it once again. And he's just taking what the defense is giving him right now, which is perfectly fine. He scored his touchdown. Joke. Boy, that was dangerous. a tight window. Ooh, dangerous throw. Again, another one of those checkdowns. A lot of people think checkdown means an easy dump off to the running back right there. That was just a drag route with speedy Tyree kill. The coverage was tight, but the throw was perfect. Third and three. This is a huge drive for Joe. Shannon Sharp has been the guy on underneath routes all game long for both sides. Let's see if he looks for Shannon Sharp again. We got Strafen and T. Davis coming up next. That's bonkers. <laughs> T. Davis is the story of this tournament. His comeback, that big win against Kiv. Can't wait to see him as you see Joke running first down and 10 at the 12-yard line. Plus, not only do we have that coming up, we can start a half hour earlier tomorrow. The action coming on at 11.30 out here. I'm so excited. You mentioned that Pavon only won five grand last year. I'm not saying only, but I'm just saying compared to a $20,000 game of Madden, there's a low throw by Joke, he's and he's in. gonna get in! Woo. Touchdown, Tyreek! Gotta love getting that tackle back towards the end zone. Haven't seen a lot of low throws in this tournament. That's one of the first ones I've seen, and it was used to perfection. I'll tell you what, Joke's poise throughout this tournament has been very impressive. At no point does he really lose it. He just keeps on playing the game of football, plays his way, and a low pass, take your drag. He's taking what the defense is giving him right now, and trying to get to that final four. Man, does he want to get to that final four. The crazy thing is this would be the biggest payday for Joke to tell you how big the MCS has gotten and how big the prize pool is in this tournament. Joke won 35 grand for third place in Madden 17. This 40K in a top four well tops that. That's a little nugget coming in from my man, Donnie Moore. We burn him, we burn him, we burn him. Ron Parker with the sack. We saw Ron Parker have a big game in our last matchup. Third sack for Joke. None for Pavon. Pavon, the, the great pass defense, hasn't been able to get any pressure on the quarterback. Pavon was saying that he burned them. Joke just kind of smiled at him. Just a little shrudge off. 
Vic has time for Pavon under pressure, still completes it. And he's going to get a little bit more on the rack up to the 43-yard line. That's why Mike Vick is a legend. Got absolutely hammered as he let go of that ball. And guess what? It just didn't matter, Cook. He put it right on the money. Oh, yeah. Shannon Sharp, playmaker up. He had a couple of guys in the air right there. He really had his choice again all the way to the 43-yard line. For Pavon, only a field goal takes the lead here, so you're not going to press to go downfield. Of course, you obviously want to get a touchdown. And he'll throw it away. If you're just joining us, we're at the EA headquarters in Redwood City, California, just outside San Francisco. And this is a $40,000. Bring you up to $40,000. Get you inside the top four. That's what a win will do for you as he gets it to Shannon Sharp. And that top four will automatically qualify you for the Madden Bowl that happens in April. That's the final major of the day that, of the year. That's where we crown the champion. This is huge. That's the guy that won it last year. That's the biggest tournament. We play the Classic. We play the Cup Championship. But ultimately, that all leads off to the Madden Bowl. That is the tournament you want to win. Third and four. Straight verticals here. Nothing open. Will roll out to the left side, and he'll just throw it away. Boxed up right now in midfield. And how about the job defensively Joke has done containing the quarterback run game from Mike Vick? He hasn't been able to pull off any of these 15, 20-yard scrambles. And the kick is up, and it is good. Wham, bam, thank you, Dan. Boy, that was from way downtown. Bang! <laughs> now for Joke. He has continuously gone on long, methodical drives. And you want to try to make him work for it, but you really don't want him to go on a long, methodical drive right now because he could make this the last drive of the game if he does that. We are late in the third quarter right now. First and 10. Only six seconds left in the quarter. This might be the final play of the third. Joke down two now after that long field goal. That was like an Ebra kick for those that are the FIFA fans like me. B is open. And Julio still on his feet. And the quarter will end with Joke getting down to the 45-yard line. So that at the end of three, 16 to 14, Pavan, the youngster, only 18 years old, has a two-point lead over Echo Fox Joke. Check out the new club championship theme game day program. It's a competitive tab and the ultimate team menu. You can get Madden Pro players as coaches. Hey, yeah, that's problem right there. And MCS uniforms and it's some exclusive mutt content. And you can get that right now. All you got to do is go to the competitive tab and the ultimate team menu. Here we go, boys. Five minutes. I might need that head coach joke on my team. <laughs> Maybe he'll get me to stop throwing interceptions. Well, he's got some work to do. I know he's in the game, but he's got to get into this game. A field goal would give him the lead, though. He needs about 12 yards, and there's a sack. Now, we've seen Joe pick up Pavon's blitzes throughout the day. That was more of a coverage sack than anything else. He got Pavon got Turbo Jeff a lot with Anthony Brown looping on that blitz. Joke has been picking it up, but unfortunately for him now, second down and 22, and he's going to have to fight to get at least back into field goal range. Vic. With time for Joke, it almost oh. threw a pick. It should have been picked. How crazy is this? We're sitting here, 428 to go in the fourth quarter, and two points separates these guys from $20,000. That's absolutely nuts. If I'm on stage, I'm about to throw up. I can tell you that. Oh, yeah. Pavon has to be sick right now, but he can't get his head down third, down in 22. Stay in it. Play some defense, young man. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there's a bat down at the line. It was still alive so for a moment. And here comes fourth in 22. Michael Vick with that gunslinger. The problem with Michael Vick. There you go. Turbo Jeff getting involved. Clef. Right there in the background. Fourth and 22, no problem. They're going for it. These guys want that 20K. Comes some motion across. This is the biggest 
Maybe the biggest play of the tournament. Definitely looking to sub that corner. Here comes the pressure. Got to get rid of it. Hell, oh, man, how clutch is Echo Fox oh. joke? Randy Moss. Randy Sweet is candy. Fourth and 22. No doing? problem whatsoever. The blitz was in his face. He did not move with Michael Vick. He did not lose it. He throws a dime in the corner for the first down. And we saw Pavon send that blitz in his previous game on a fourth down. Joke might have been ready for that. Joke says you like gum, we'll chew on that. First down at the 28 yard line. Still trailing by two and there's a huge hit. Now I'll tell you what, Joke did spend the lowest cap on his running back, but Joke does like the mix in the running game more than most. And we have seen him bust off at least one big run every game with Marcus Allen. Hasn't done it yet, but that might come soon. Second and 13. Got to be careful here. You can't take these sacks. Remember, he can't get knocked out of field goal range. And he'll go up top. Get, oh, Boy, almost on the tip that. drill. Julio couldn't pull it in, but it almost fell into the safety's hands. That Marcus Allen that he has is a 77 overall, 21 cap on the flip side. He's got the 95 overall, 62 cap Julio, and he has made big plays right there, just couldn't come up with it. Joke needs to be careful. I'm not sure I don't run the football here. Joke's nearly thrown two interceptions this drive. He should be happy if he gets even a field goal here. Cannot take a sack. If I'm Pavon, I bring the dogs. And he is. And oh, he throws the crib, crib. At the 30, the 40. Will they catch him? Moss is trying to get him. Vic is oh, trying please, to catch please, him. Please, they please, won't please, catch please, him. Please, Pavon please, to please, the house. Oh, In his face. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you just, saw, lock, come on. you just saw the biggest play of Pavon's Madden career. Third down and long. Sent to house. Pick six. I almost went for that. What the hell? And he will make it a come on, come two on, possession come on. game, 23 to 14. That might have been a $20,000 interception. Pavon's defensive adjustments were just beautiful that drive. One deep crossing route, he took that away. It's gonna get scary now, I promise you. I think he's right, it is kind of getting scary right now for Joke. But you mentioned it before, we have seen Joe come back every single game now, the players are probably tired. You want to take a timeout, right? There you see the guys and the players around, Drini, Spoto, Allen. Allen didn't seem too happy. <laughs> I mean, then again, it's Allen. That's actually probably pretty happy for Allen. He got a little smirk out there. Pavon is his lab partner, so I'm sure he actually is just very enjoying this. And there is Randy Moss, can't spin away. And now Joke, I'm, he, he was he was about to kick the field goal at minimum and take a one-point lead. So if you want to add that up, that's a 10-point swing. But that's what I mean when I say it's the little things. It can all come down to one, two, maybe three plays in a game. The rest of it, these guys are so evenly matched. It just takes a mistake like that to change the entire complexion of the game. Vic. Oh, oh boy, he oh. almost threw a pick. Not he even that. He literally ran that route. <laughs> Pavon is talking, talking, talking. But hey, we we heard Crush talking when he was up 13-0 in the first quarter. It's the fourth quarter. I guess it's time to trash talk. It's now. Now is the time when you have this nine-point lead. Let that energy flow. Third and two for Joke. Under three to play now. And it's oh, picked up. up. Pavon has put this game in the fridge. That is why you practice the tip drill. And I think Pavon can taste it. He wants that 20K. He wants to be the one buying dinner tonight. He was the sleeper of the tournament. Joke now. has to hold him to three. You cannot give up a touchdown. A touchdown means it's over. The way Pavon is playing defense, it might not even matter. First and 10. He'll hand it off to Marcus Allen. See if he could ride Marcus Allen all the way home. That was that was unbelievable. Who goes for the SWAT in that situation? I'll tell you who, Pavon. I, I know at some point I could ask RG here if he has the tip drill chemistry. I'm sure you guys maybe probably don't know, but he's had a lot of tips Throughout in this tournament. tournament that just, he's just really good at clicking on and making those plays. And it's, Watch out. it's been huge for him. 
What? And oh I'm God, pretty sure he outside. doesn't have tip drill because that's He's so dumb. pretty much wasted cap. That'd be unbelievable. He tried to slide down there with Michael Vick, accidentally hit a button, <laughs> threw it across the body. That was almost a major mistake for Pavon. He got away with one right there. Hands it off to Allen. Will hole. he get the first Big down? Hole. He's got more. And sticky. And got to be happy. careful not to get stripped there. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. He can't believe it. And the reason is a win here puts him in the Madden Bowl. He knows he's going to be playing in the final 16 at the end of the year. But this guy just became 40 grand richer. You can see the money there. It's it's bananas. When you look at the history of Madden payouts, this is a 20,000 hour game of Madden. And the youngster, 18 years old, is 204 away from literally cashing in. He needs to be careful. Make sure you don't fumble this ball. That's the second time Joke has come very close to forcing a fumble here. He'll hand it off again. Joke will try to maybe use it. Nope. We'll get to the two minute warning. If he would have tackled him at 201, I, I think he will. He would have called a timeout there. But since we got to the two minute warning, he's still got one remaining. Third and 10. You got to run the ball here and just take away Joke's last timeout. He will hand it off. Allen tries to cut it back. You can see he's on conservative, so you don't have those flashy moves, but you hold on to the rock. And here comes the field goal unit. Can't get it blocked. Boy, would that change the landscape. Hold it. I know Skimbo always says to hold it. It's perfect. It doesn't matter. And he's up 26 to 14. Still a two score game, but now he's at a timeout. By the way, on top of all the money these guys are earning, the winner of this tournament gets to go to the Super I Bowl. Belt, man. I want that bell. And Pavon. You heard him? Uh -huh. He doesn't care about the money. He doesn't care about the Super Bowl. He just wants the belt. He just wants the pride. I heard Joke's mouth dropping some bombs. We'll see if he can do that in the passing game. You don't hear First and 10. Right now. No, <laughs> the, the rapping is way long over. And Sharp will get to the 33. Stays in bounds, so here comes the hurry up. Skimbo would be losing it right now. Yeah, he's got to get out of bounds in that situation. I'm just so impressed with the way Pavon is playing, more so defensively than offensively, as he almost gets a sack. There is Randy Moss to the 43. Three-time belt winner Michael Skimbo and RG, who's, let's be honest, he's the Madden of the MCS. Will join me for the final game of the day. It's going to be T. Davis against Ivy Strafing. And there's the wheel route to Hill. My guys, Cookie and Nick, they weren't even scheduled to work today. But Skimbo got a little bit under the weather with his voice, and they were like, we looked to the bullpen. <laughs> we were warmed so up. We were saying, we're bringing our boys in. It's we got to keep toss. We got to keep Skimbo fresh for that big final game. Everybody's done a great job, chat, the whole crew here. These games have been amazing. These guys have really played well on the big stage. But for that youngster right there, Pavan, and Joke, the veteran, he needs two scores here. He's already down to the 37. You're going to need a score and then an onside kick. He's going to need a touchdown and an onside kick here. Field goal does absolutely nothing, so he needs to push this pace. And you're seeing on this drive what's sort of been the problem with Joke's offense. It's just been a lot of check downs, a lot of quick throws, because that pressure is getting to him. Pavon setting a very unique blitz. This Anthony Brown looping, I haven't seen anybody else run this, and it has been so effective. And Vic will get out of the pocket to try to Create some time, he throws it back into coverage. Oh, what a catch. Somehow hauls it into the four, but you got to go. 40 seconds now remaining for Joke. I don't know about that, Reed Chief. <laughs> Pavon's defenders are all over Aaron. This Joke's got to run. Hurry up here. Got to get into the touchdown. ASAP got to pass this ball. Looking, throwing. Oh, give me that. Pick. G. G. 20K. You can buy yourself a gumball machine, Pavon. What a win. What a performance defensively, really just stifling Joke all day. Well, Pavon's going to join us again. Second time today. Two big wins for him. I mean, he's 
And when you get it rocking and rolling, he, he, he wants to know, hey, can I play my next game now? <laughs> I wouldn't believe him. He's on fire right now. He's in the final four. He's won 40 grand. He came into this season with five grand career earnings, and he's going to get back into the saddle. Allie's going to put the headset on him, and boy, Pavan takes down Joke 26 to 14, and it was an interception fest, and You've had yourself a day, young man. How, mm. How's your day going, Pavan? Uh, it's been busy, I could say. <laughs> uh, after my first game, uh, I got called back over there for an interview, and they said, would you rather play uh, one game today or two games today? Because, you know, obviously play two games. And I told them, um, give me two games for momentum, and I guess it carried on for today. For yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, talking about this game, going up against a guy like Joe, who we saw uh, in the second round, uh, or we saw th throughout this entire tournament mm -hmm. as a talker, somebody who likes to chirp, did that cause you any sort of concern? Do you like playing off that emotion, or was it more about just sort of playing your game and not worrying about what the other person was doing? Uh, I was going to play my game regardless. Um, <laughs> I got a lot of respect for Joe. Um, people see, like, you know, we kind of cap at each other on Twitter and stuff, but I got respect for him. He, the way he, he's professional. He's very, you know. So playing two games in one day, how much were you actually able to pre prepare for Joe? Did you actually prepare last night? I haven't even ate lunch yet. So like, <laughs> I lost. I won my first game, went back. and There's just Snickers. <laughs> uh, got the scouting report from my boy VY. He helped me out. He uh, watched the games yesterday. Uh, just told me a lot of tendencies, and, I, you know, helped, it helped me out a lot. And uh, shout out to Henry, Allen, VY, J-Tran, all my boys uh, for helping me out hey, get this far. It takes a village to get you here, I can tell yes, you sir. that, no doubt about it. Let's take a look at these highlights and a big win over Joke. Pavan representing the Raiders. I'd have that gum out there again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, if the gum makes you win, chew all the gum you want, my friend. Walk us through some of this because you had the lead. I never here seen comes that rock Joke combo. back. That was nuts, right? The yeah, low throw. That was a great play. That was something from, brought back from last year. I didn't think that was even possible. Hey, we talked about we hadn't seen a lot of low throws. I'm not going to lie. Ronnie Lott just got super glitchy. That was a quarter. Um, I don't know if he threw it wrong, but there's no zone there. And he just, I guess, clutch Trey, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, he is a legend. I think he even played for the Raiders at one point yes, later sir. in his career. So, And right here, a lot of people go for the pick, but um, you're not going to animate a lot of times. I've been swatting the past two weeks trying to prepare for high ball lags, and it worked finally. Well, congratulations. You. you have officially qualified for the Madden Bowl. Being in the top four, how Let's does go. that feel? I just, I just remember that now. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. I want this belt, and I'm going to get another belt. Well, congratulations. That's all I can say. You're going to be busy on April 25th or so because that's when the Madden Bowl is going to happen. You officially locked yourself in. I'm, I'm sure you're going to get on the Internet right now and see what yeah, you're going to buy with yeah. 40 grand, all that kind of <laughs> stuff. But congratulations. We'll see you in the final four representing the AFC. Nice job, Pavon. Let's go to Rico Williams. Hey, thanks.